Hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Tonight is my night off. We spent most of the day in bed and then we transitioned out into the common areas where I fed Mia. You know, did quite a few things right here. I have the a little box packaged up with the last can of formula that I had open from the old batch that was making Mia sick. I can't find that um, Anfamel reached out and asked me to ship back to them. So they have UPS coming to pick it up tomorrow. That's the only box I can find inside of the apartment. So I taped it up nicely and I'm going to put it outside for UPS to pick up. It's raining right now so I don't know what time I'm going to put it outside. But also, I don't know if I'm going to wake up early in the morning to be able to run downstairs and bring it down there before they come because I don't know what time they are going to come. So I need to figure that part of it out. Definitely think I'm going to bring it down there tonight. I did set a reminder for an hour and a half right now. It's 10.30, so that'll be midnight. I'm charging my electric lighter. I just lit the candle in the living room because Mia is sleeping. I'm going to drink a glass of wine. Actually, I don't feel like it. I don't feel like drinking a glass of wine. Let's just crash that. We're not going to drink a glass of wine. We're gonna just relax in the living room and catch up on some of the things that I do like to watch. My skin is dry as hell because I just came out of the shower. Mia is inside of the bedroom sleeping and I don't want to go in there and wake her up to go moisturize my skin. I don't even have deodorant on, but I did spend some time since she went to bed early and everything because I've said this before, when I'm off, I do keep her on the same schedule like when I am working. My hair is just, you know, still in my you part and everything. I need to do some laundry tomorrow. I was thinking of doing the laundry today, but then I'm, I really don't like doing any chores on my day off. I really like to, especially if I only have one day off because I've been picking up one overtime shift on one of my day offs. I want to spend that day off and truly be off and relax and enjoy it as a day off. So I don't want to do anything. So I said I'm going to wake up early in the morning. Well, I can't really do it too early. I have to wait until her dad um, leaves for work because he's going to have to show and I'm going to have to connect the machine and it's a whole situation. Tomorrow morning too, I have to walk to the Walgreens to pick up a prescription that is there for her and a prescription for myself because it's not giving me the option to have it delivered. I should try and see if I can download the app again to see if it's working. But um, yeah, that's, that's kind of where we are. I thought I was in the mood to drink a glass of wine, but I guess not. I truly want to just um, relax for a little bit. My mom said she is coming this weekend. She's going to be here for about a week or so. I don't really know. So that's going to be exciting for Mia to finally meet her because she hasn't been here since Mia has been born. And um, she's very excited to meet Mia. Obviously, Mia is a baby, so she <laughs> is neither excited or not excited. She's just a baby. So, um, yeah. Uh, that's what it's looking like. I know when she, how long she's gonna be she's gonna be here for, so I'm thinking I'm definitely gonna pick up uh, an overtime shift since she is gonna be here the following week. Nothing. Um, I need to find. I'm just giving you guys a little life update right now. I need to find a new sitter because the sitter that we have obviously we just use her at nights for a few hours. She had a daytime job and as a caregiver, and she said that she's changing assignments and she's gonna get one that's 12 hours so she could no longer um work for us which is such a bummer but i'm gonna just hop onto care.com and find somebody because i did go on there before when i found her but i found her from super early like july after i had mia and um she had asked me to consider her when i got to that point where i would have been looking for somebody to take care of the baby and so that's how i end up with her and i love her god bless her heart and i'm so grateful for her and for the time that she worked for us for because that gave me peace of mind going to work every single night but i do see some really good candidates on care.com so um we're definitely going to explore that because i have one two basically three weeks one two three weeks before i need to you know to find somebody i'm pretty sure i'm probably gonna be able to find somebody yeah i'm, pr I'm pretty sure i'm gonna be able to find somebody it shouldn't be that hard but um yeah, that's what we have going on. I asked them what's going to happen with the rest of the cans of formula. And Formel has nothing to say about go to the place where I bought it from. And I did think about that, so I did call the grocery store and the lady said she was going to come back, but she didn't. So tomorrow when I go to pick up Mia's prescription, I'm going to stop by there. 
set an alarm for 9.30 a.m. and label it Mia's prescription and grocery store about formula. It's one thing about me, I'm going to utilize this phone that I'm paying so much money for. Uh, this week, my sister's friend, my sister's best friend is going to Jamaica and she's going to bring the phone for my sister. And I'm so excited about that. I'm so excited for her to get it. I have a little video that I need to send to her. So I need to organize with her friend and see when she's going to give it to her. Yada, yada, yada. So I can send her the little video that I made. So cute. Okay. And um, yeah. And my mom's coming. I don't know when she's leaving really. So we'll, we'll, we'll see how the whole situation works out, you know? Yeah. But that's what's going on where I'm here, you know, me sleeping, there isn't anything to do but lie down and watch some YouTube. Truly relax because all day we've been sleeping or I've been attending to her. So now when I don't have to, I can like do something that I want to do just like I spent the last maybe 30 minutes to myself in the shower. But yeah, I'm going to sweep hair a little bit because she was eating some crackers today and it's remnants of the crackers on the floor. So I'm going to sweep that up. I have the candle lit in the living room and then I'm going to just relax. So I will see you guys tomorrow or so. Oh, the hair looks like a bird's nest. Hello, everyone. It is a busy morning over here in our household. Um, I started the morning off by, you know, coming in and blending up a new batch of smoothie from Mia. After I did that, I went and woke her up so I could feed her some, you know, nice and fresh. Then I realized that I had to do her laundry. Then I had to go downstairs and drop off the box because FedEx didn't leave the sticker on the door yet. And I'm trying to avoid them leaving the sticker on the door. I just called and made a doctor's appointment for me. I had a few reminders going off. Some I was able to check off. Others I had to work on those. So now that I made the ninth month appointment for her, I could check that off. And I still have one more call to make and I have some laundry that I'm doing in the bathroom right now. So, a few things that I'm doing all at the same time. Um, so, it's a bit of a chaotic morning over here. But I haven't done that in a while. Okay, let me upload that. I'm, I'm, I just opened my computer and pulled up um, care.com because... I needed to change, um, share the login information with her dad, but I, I couldn't remember the password. So I needed to click that I don't know the password and all, you know, that entire process. So I went ahead and did that, got the password, sent it over to him along with um, the date for her upcoming appointment so he could probably add it to his calendar or whatever. So we're off to a good start right now. I have clothes on the floor, you know, just... Just, 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 you know. And then I have Mia's. I have Mia's clothes already soaking because you know baby's clothes. It tends to have like a bit of a bit of spit up here and there, yada yada yada. You know, so that's what's going on with her stuff. I also have some meat in the sink that I'm going to try and cook today at some point so there's that too because as we speak i don't have any food in the fridge i do work tonight and the next couple of days so i definitely need to have some food so i need to sort that out but you know it's a work in progress right now it's basically midday so i have quite a few things to do within the next four or five hours if we go to sleep at 5 p.m That'll be like a good load of stretch of sleep until it's time for me to go to work. Maybe 4 p.m. Because again, we did sleep until 10 a.m. Or it's sometime after 9. I had an alarm set for 9.30 a.m. And I woke up at like 9.28 and turned it off because I was already awake. And I knew that I had the um, UPS sticker on the door. But then... Um, I ended up just going down there and, and putting the box outside because last night I didn't end up putting the box outside mainly because um, it was raining and I did not want the box to get wet but I did go down there and put the sticker on the door and also bring the box downstairs and leave it in the entryway so you know past productive self here hi sweetie I don't know if she wants any more of this smoothie I'm gonna try her in a little bit but earlier it just looked like she was kind of over me and it's so I'm like okay whatever We can get started on doing her laundry 
and then I have an important call that I have to make. So I have the meat in the fridge, in the sink already, kind of defrosting a little bit. So I will come back up um, a little bit later. I currently have too much going on to be here trying to do all of this. You know, so I definitely have to come back. I haven't done that in a while. I... So yeah, guys, busy, busy morning over here. You would agree. I'm having her sit in her high chair for a little bit to kind of digest this the food, and then I'm gonna transition her to the mat in the living room so she could get she can have a little bit of independent playing. And then um, I need to change her diaper. Okay, yeah. So that's what we have going on right now. So I'll see you guys in a little bit later on or so. And then in a while. Okay, when does that go? Oh, do I need to? Okay, no, I can't edit that. That's okay. I have a gash underneath my tongue. I don't know if my toothbrush cut it or from the other day I've been eating um ruffles and ruffles are so damn sharp it's ridiculous i love me a cheese ruffle but they're so sharp that's the only part about ruffles that i don't enjoy some part of my mouth is uh, the roof of my mouth the side of my tongue my gums something is always cut when i eat ruffles i don't even know how so i think that may have been how I'm experiencing this discomfort oh it looks like it's gonna rain today let me look at the weather because i do work tonight and i need to see I need to scope the scenery out see what the situation is because this entire week my friend is on vacation so this entire week i've been taking um the train and so very quick by the way the only annoying part is oh it's saying that at 12 p.m there's a zero percent chance of chance of rain so right now it's just um it's actually not it's 48 degrees almost 50 degrees but you know it's so very windy so it feels more cold than it is it's just saying tonight is supposed to be windy it's not saying it's supposed to rain or anything so we're gonna jump on the laundry and then we're gonna start the meat on the stove and then i'm gonna put it in the slow cooker so um yeah we'll, we'll, we'll see how it all turns out you know what i have two and then i have these um beef ribs why why isn't the bag labeled typically everything is labeled but i have these um beef ribs that i'm go gonna make right now i'm gonna start on the stove and then we're gonna transition it to the um to the thing to the slow cooker and allow that to just cook over like an hour or so so about to go too much to do